and welcome to Utah Business Matters, your weekly television window to small business here in the great state of Utah. We begin today with the story of Jennifer Lindley. Jennifer is a diabetic, so is her son. She set out with the goal to help diabetics around this world. I'm Jennifer Lindley and I am so excited to announce the beginning of Essential Preparedness products. I'm a type 1 diabetic and so is my son. I've had diabetes for over 28 years and my son has had diabetes for almost 20 years. It started really around 2005 with Katrina. I saw a clip of a man on his rooftop and he had spray painted diabetic on it and it was that moment that I knew he was, he was in need of supplies and that he needed help. Being a type 1 diabetic, I knew what he, his supplies were. I know how long he can survive. So I got online and I started looking and I couldn't find anything that, that would fit my needs for a disaster type purpose. It took me about three months to decide that this product was not available. And so we developed a case. This case here suits the needs of a type 1 or type 2 diabetic. And as I kept going with it and telling people that there was this product that's not out there to serve us, uh, the more and more it drove me to pursue it. And so over time, I came up with a case, worked with a team, and we um, put it together with inserts that are for type 1, type 2 diabetics. It's one in inclusive case, and it fills the supplies for type 1 or type 2. It comes with two separate inserts and you get to build your case to fit your diabetic needs. The case includes an ice pack to help keep insulin cool. We do recommend that insulin stay in the fridge until you are ready to go with your case. Because even though we cannot uh, control when a disaster strikes, we can prepare for it. I deal in a field where people often come into the hospital and have either forgotten to take their medicines or were unable to take their medicines. And particularly with diabetes, they will present to the hospital in a coma. And it's life-threatening. So to have the ability and the ease of peace of mind to be able to take a product with you to prevent you from either going to coma and or dying is essential. And it's not just helpful for diabetes. I think this product is going to prove useful for cardiac disease, neurological diseases, and pulmonary diseases as well as many others. The medical professionals who have been working with me on this, oh, they've been so supportive and I was very, very surprised. It's almost like when I started telling them about this case, um, it's like a light bulb went on and they're like, oh, why don't we have that? We need that. It's considered a 72-hour kit because people understand what a 72-hour kit, but it really does go way beyond that. When it comes to the business financial side of things, I, I was a bit worried and didn't know what to do, and I really didn't want to take that part of the business on. She spent time with my wife, uh, really, really interviewed her from a perspective because, you know, she's a mom and she's starting a business and it's going to create a lot of challenges for her. And so I found a really great partner, John Golo, who is the trustee of the American Dream Foundation, to work with me. And it's great because he's type 2 diabetic. He understands this need completely. The motivation here is to help people. And that, that was her real drive in putting this thing together. I heard somebody but I made a quote to her one time that as she rolled this out, you're taking care of the forgotten people. Because in a natural disaster, what do we think about? Food, water, shelter. Medication is, is, is something else. As we build this thing, what we're going to do is earmark a portion of the price to the American Diabetes Association, to juvenile diabetes. So it'll be a built-in fundraiser, and they can help us promote this. It's a little scary to think about where this could go, but really it, 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 the, the basic motivation behind doing all this is service. There's 26 million diabetics in the United States. There's 276 million worldwide. It's not that we don't have the supplies on hand, but we don't have them ready to go. And it's a matter of just building that case, putting it all together, and when that evacuation call comes, 
you've got your case, you grab your insulin out of the fridge and your ice pack, put it in your Medi case and you're able to go. This is not a luxury item. This is a necessity for anyone who has a chronic illness. It is produced in American Fork and shipped from there and we are very excited to launch it here in Utah. The hours and hours of research is so worth it because it's gonna help so many lives. It's taken a toll on my family, but then I guess it hasn't. If it, if it had been any type of other business, possibly they may not have been as supportive, but because they also understand the need for it and want to help people, they've been very supportive of it. I'm insulin dependent and I wear a, a, a pump and I threw a piece of it away and was not able to retrieve it and had to go off of my pump. So I had to go back to the basics and take uh, my shots and use my Lantus and um, check my ketones, which all these products sit inside this case and I've used every piece of it. Um, do I know how important it is to have this case? Absolutely more so today because of what I just went through. We definitely do. Six months from now, I want to be national. Um, hopefully before then, within the next couple of months, and then, and then of course we want to go globally with this product. The next case would be asthma, and then uh, we're looking into a cardiac case and other cases for chronic illnesses such as Parkinson's or epilepsy. I think it's really important that we be our own personal heroes and that if we can be prepared before the disaster happens, we help our medical professionals out and our EMT teams and our uh, firefighters and that. There's not a lot of firefighters assigned to each city and so we, it's really important that we allow them to serve those who really are in need and if we can be prepared before the fact, we become our own personal heroes.